For our model today, we're going to give him a classic side part haircut. Um, as you can see, he has a ton of hair, very wavy hair, very thick, and um, you know, it probably looks like there's no way it's going to part and lay flat. But you'll notice a lot of people that have very thick wavy curly hair, there's a certain level that if you uh, take it short enough and thin it out and texturize it enough and get it below that level, it'll lay down just nice and it'll last for about two or three weeks. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a scissor over comb technique on top to cut it. Because if, if you see when I pick it up with my fingers because it's so wavy, the hair is laying right on my fingers. So it's really hard to get in there with the point of the scissor and cut all that hair. It's going to be much easier to pick it up with a comb and cut it. Uh, we're, we are going to dampen it down first. And then we're going to do a um, uh, some scissor over comb through the round of the head area here. We're going to start on the top and work our way down so we can um, blend it in easier. Uh, one of the things that I like to do when I do a haircut is I never like to leave a heavy weight line around the edge. So I don't want to take um, a half inch or five eighths of an inch and just run it up the side and leave this big bowl cut or mushroom cut to blend out. I want to start from the top and work my way down so we actually never see that. So. As we start to spin them around, the one thing that I do notice as I'm combing through it, I don't want to go too short on the sides because you can see here, he's got a little bit of a, a thin hairline, as thick as his hair is, around his ear. So we can't have all this, this thick head of hair and have a real high arcing white wall around the ear. So we have to be careful there. So that tells me I can't taper it too close there. So as I spin them around, um, I don't see any problems with any really bad uh, crown or calyx or swirls back here, so we're going to be okay there. He has a nice thick hairline, which is going to taper out um, relatively easy. So the majority of the work is going to be done on the top by bringing the length down to, the, um, to that right length to take out the wave, but leaving it long enough so we can go through. We're going to have to use uh, two different types of um, thinning shears. We're going to use a 23 tooth thinning shear, which is going to take a, a little bit of weight out, and we're also going to use a 44 tooth thinning shear, which is going to take more. So the combination of the two is going to take the wave and the curl out and straighten his hair out. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to dampen his hair down. So now I can see my center guide in my comb and I have a traveling guide underneath behind what I'm cutting. So now I'm working with two guides. And in the front, what I want to do is I don't want to round the comb down. I want to take an imaginary line straight, straight out. That way it leaves the front just a little bit longer so we have the hair to comb to the side. And now we're going to come across the front. Okay, and now we're going to do the other side. Now the part sides are tricky, so I'm just going to take one section on this side instead of two. I don't want to take a chance in thinning out um, the part side because the hair doesn't have as far to travel either way, whereas on, on the side opposite the part, there's a lot more hair here. So we have to be very careful, otherwise all the hair on the part's going to be sticking up. It won't lay down. So now I'm just going to use my scissor over comb technique and clean up, clean this up. And then after we finish this all the way around, then we'll go in with our largest clipper blade and clean up around the edges. So by doing it this way, we're not going to leave ourselves a heavy weight line that's going to be needed to, blend, needed to be blended out. So when you're dealing with very thick hair, you want to use a, a, and you're using a scissor over comb technique, it helps when you're using a longer shear. I'm using a seven and a half inch shear right now. It gives you more, gives you more power to get through the hair and you don't have to cover as much, you don't have to cover as much ground as if you were using a five inch or five and a half inch scissor.
Okay, so now you can kind of see in here, we're creating another guide and that's when we come in with our clipper work, we're gonna fade it right out. We're gonna fade right into that and we're not gonna leave ourselves a heavy weight line that needs to be blunted out. Are you a member of howtocuthair.tv? Learn the art of men's barbering from third generation master barber Greg Zorian in full HD, 24 seven from anywhere in the world. Sign up for your free membership and learn how to increase your efficiency and make more money behind the chair. HowToCutHair.tv Okay, and now I'm turning him towards me and I'm coming against the grain. Now what all these extra steps are doing is it's gonna add a little bit of longevity to the haircut and uh, the, the haircut is gonna look much better as it grows in. And I wanna go very slow so I don't create a heavy weight line so we don't have a lot of blending to do. And we're gonna work our way all the way around the head for him. So as you can see, by leaving this low taper here and cleaning up all this area here in the round of the head section first, that clipper is going through there nice and easy and we're blending as we're cutting. So we're leaving ourselves very little blending work. We're not making a heavy line of demarcation to blend out. So this is probably one of the most common haircuts in men's hair cutting or barbering, we call it the half inch taper. It's just your classic side part haircut. But I don't want to cut up into the previous length. I like the length that we have. So I'm just, once the teeth hit the, the uh, outline of the haircut, I'm using a scooping motion to scoop the, uh, scoop the hair out, just to leave a nice light taper on it. The same thing in the back. So we're using a, scoop, a, small, a short scooping motion. We don't want to use an elongated scooping motion because then we'll get, the, we'll get too deep of a taper. So with a, with a more classic side part haircut like this, what we want is to have a low natural faded hairline. I don't want to bring it up off the natural hairline. So the taper is basically already there. So what we're gonna do is just in the open position, we're gonna scoop it out just a little bit before we even get to the hairline. So when the tip of the stationary blade gets to the hairline, that's when you start scooping it out so we don't go into the hairline. Then we're gonna close it halfway and do it again and not go as high. And now we're going to close it all the way and do it again and not go as high. I'm just going to open it back up a little bit. This one corner is a little heavier. There we go. That does the trick. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Now when you're doing sideburns, you want to make sure the chin is parallel to the floor and your blade is parallel to the floor. That way we get nice straight sideburns. We don't get a sideburn that's angled up or down. Now on the back, I want to turn his head to the side. I want to lengthen that neck muscle so we have a nice smooth surface to make a nice clean line. So we're just touching the, 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 uh, the neck and then we're going to shave to it. And when we're in the back, on the neck, we want to keep the blade parallel to the floor and I want to stop well below the taper. I don't want to cut into the taper at all because then we'll have to bring it up higher and I don't want to bring it up off the natural hairline. Introducing Zorian of New York. 
premium grooming products for the modern man, designed by third-generation master barber, Greg Zorian. Made in the USA and not tested on animals, each of our styling products is infused with natural ingredients and features light, clean fragrances. Our two-in-one shampoo and conditioner is sulfate and paraben-free and color safe. Do you own a barber shop or salon, rent a chair, or run a school? Find out how we support our retailers with world-class barbering education and product knowledge training. We're currently accepting applications for wholesale accounts and invite you to apply on our website, Zorian of New York. We have two choices to go with to style this uh, classic side part haircut, which I like to call the all-American haircut. We could either go with a firm hold gel, which is going to give you a high shine and a, a really strong firm hold where it's going to harden up and hold all day. Or we can go with a grooming cream with a medium hold, medium shine. Both products are from our Zorian of New York uh, men's grooming line. Um, in this case, because uh, our model's hair is so thick and it's going to stay where, it's, where you comb it anyway, even if he didn't have product in, we're going to go with a little bit lighter hold. And uh, the grooming cream actually is probably our most popular product. So what we're going to do is we want to take a, a nice amount of it, about that much. And then we want to emulsify it in our hand all the way, all the way through so it almost looks clear. And then we're going to get it through the top of the hair. And then we're going to comb it, or we're going to finger it all the way through to the roots. Because whenever you're using a product, you want to get not just on the, on the top, you want to get it all the way through to the, right down to the roots, right down to the scalp. And the nice thing about the grooming cream, unlike, unlike the gel, is that during the day, if he, he wanted to recomb his hair or, re, or run his fingers through his hair, he can because it's not going to harden up. It's, it has enough hold to hold it in place, but it doesn't, it doesn't harden up. And then we're just going to take our vent brush, and we want to get that nice classic look. So we're going to give it that nice part. And while you're combing it back, I still have the product in my hand, so I'm smoothing it out with the product in my hand. So we get it right down to the part there, so it holds, holds that part in. Because his hair does have a tendency, as you saw when we started the haircut, to uh, want to go straight back. Okay, so now we have a nice clean uh, parted haircut. And we'll spin them around so you can see uh, what really makes it stand out is the outline of the haircut and the, and the tapered neckline. So just for a quick review, we, we use the uh, grooming cream from the Zorian of New York product line. And we uh, emulsified it in our hands really good. We went over the top first, and then we got the product right down to the roots, and we used a vent brush to uh, comb it into place.